hello friend welcome back what are some of the best use cases and in fact like real time use cases for which one should use test case studio so here i am going to show you guys that which are these use cases which can help your testing team your qa team to improve their productivity help their uh, help them in the testing process while doing the functional testing exploratory testing ui testing bug filing and a lot more so the very first use case of test case studio is test case documentation so one of the like most tedious task in software testing and ui testing is the documentation like what you have tested what all uh, scenarios you have covered in like while doing the testing which all places you have clicked which all input boxes search boxes you have entered the value and what all value you have tested along with them so that nobody want to document everything everybody like yes generally people we all do a lot of testing of each and every function each and every link but we don't document that i have clicked on this and then it was working right so in that case it helps us a lot to get that documentation done automatically and that's where like so many people like thousands of people like more than 30k people use test case studio today so let me show you guys i will be giving a demo on test case studio pro version so here what you do like let's say you just have to before starting your testing like let's say you are going to test it on flipkart.com any e-commerce website e-commerce website or anything you just try so what you have to do before you start your testing here you just have to click on this logo and it's very simple process to start with this like how you can get started and everything installation and all is just one click so this is how you open this is how it opens and now if you start your testing like you click here you click on this logo whether it is working or not all these things like uh, you right click anywhere so if you want to check like everything is working you click here so you see that all these steps has been recorded here and now you can just simply download them and use it as a documentation purpose that yes you have done this testing in future if anything breaks in production you can always refer to this document and this has all the details like what all steps you have followed what was the uh, like os version what was the browser what was the browser version and what time you have done this and here you see that every each and every step has been mentioned here along with each step you have the url like when you perform this action what was the address uh, url in the address bar when you click on flipkart what was the url at that particular time xpath css selector and lot more things are there so this is how it helps a lot in your documentation now you must be thinking that we don't have this kind of documentation we don't write this kind of test cases or we don't document in this format absolutely fine you can customize complete template of test case in test case studio pro you have all the features you have got everything like for an example this is a one real time scenario which few people use in in company in fact in my last company also we have used this kind of template so here you see that this is a template which i used suppose which we use now this you can define in test case studio you can customize each and everything here like for an example under customize you have everything what you need so here we don't have xpath css selector and url column so what you can do go to customize remove this column whichever doesn't required for you and here you can add the columns which are required for you like let's say we need id work item type title so i will just quickly show you that how you can get this exact same template which is there which is required for your work then uh, title it's very simple just a one time task that you have to uh, set up this template here and next time onwards you will be getting the same template area path then assign to and then state okay and now let's go back here so here you can see that all of them are here now first column was id so let me just make it uh, not this one this one is, is test step so we'll make it test step you can add it here as well the name of the columns which are there 
steps is there as a step action so we'll edit this as a step action expected result is a step expected so this also will edit same as like what required so basically i'm trying to show you that uh, we can customize each and everything now we have all the columns which are required here now but the problem here is they are not in the same order what we need so what you can do go uh, either you can uh, like just drag and drop from here itself like you can just hold and drag and drop here or you can under customize you can arrange column so first column is id second is work item type third is title fourth is test step fifth is step action expected step expected then area path then assign to and state save come here you have all the column in the same order what we have here and here you can also like this is uh, here it has pre-filled row like which has the standard value so you can also set the pre-filled value here like you can add a pre-filled row here so which is like here it is test case then sample then all these things are there let's say this is xxx assigned to is sanjay and state is design for an example now you go here you hover prefilled now you see that we got the prefilled row as well now you can simply download this and it will be same exact same template what you have what you need in your day-to-day uh, -day office work let me just close this okay and you see that this is exact same template this is exact same test case format what we uh, required so this is how you can do the documentation and now let's say you need uh, want like multiple test case in one sheet itself so in that case you can do that as well let me just close and show you that now we are all set all setup is ready you just have to click on this logo and you just start your testing uh, like whatever you are performing whatever you are searching anything you are doing that you can just do and here you see that this is your first test case let's say you want to add pre-filled row you can add it save and continue you can record multiple test cases here so this is my second test case let me just add a pre-filled row here i can say test case 2 that was first test case was this was my test case 1 and i can save and continue again i can record a new test case here so whatever we want to do you can do that so here this is my third test case third test case here i can say this is third and you see now you have three test cases you can download in any format you can download whichever format is supported by you and here you have all three test cases so quickly and you need not to do any single effort manually so you got everything here and lot more features like you can download only only one particular test case or all the test case that's up to you so this is how you can do the test case documentation for your uh, company for your software testing and save a lot of lot of time for your team for your QA team and increase their productivity next is bug reproduction it helps a lot for the bug reproduction thing many many times that it happened a lot that uh, like let's say you are doing this testing we are doing this testing and somewhere we found a bug that th there's a bug in this add to cart or something it is not working in that case we need steps like how we find those steps so those steps you can quickly get from here you need not to write them manually as well as you get the screenshot as well with the highlighted field like where was that otherwise like we people and your team might be writing these steps manually like click here do this do that so that's where they waste a lot of time what you can do you can just start your uh, test case studio here before you start your testing and once you are done whenever you found the bug you just simply click on copy this these steps and paste it to uh, your developer that these are the steps to reproduce the issue along with the screenshot you can just simply copy this screenshot from here copy image copy image and paste it to your developer so this is very very helpful in bug filing and bug reproduction both like if you want to file the bug you can simply got these steps and screenshot download them and upload it in your jira or any bug management tool whatever you are using as well as if you are uh, directly you want to reproduce the issue then you can simply follow the steps you need not to think back in your mind that what were those steps which you can follow to reproduce this issue very simple very easy very very helpful 
a screenshot you get the screenshot for each and every step you did not to take these screenshot manually like this and then highlight the field where is the bug like here you need not to go like this and highlight like this you already getting the highlighted screenshot here in test case studio like wherever you were performing the action that field is highlighted along with the name like what action and where you were performing like right click on relevance if you download this screenshot it will download with that particular name as well like let's say if we download all these screenshot here they come along with their name like what were those like this was for open website this was for this so whatever is this like right click on relevance so this step is uh, this is screenshot is for right click on relevance so you get that thing as well very helpful then screen recording many a times you need the screen recording something like let's say you are doing this testing and you need the screen recording so in that case you can just start you directly get the button here screen recording you need you don't need any other separate uh, tool or something to record the screen right there in test case studio pro you have this screen recording option so you click here you select any particular tab you can select window you can select entire screen whichever you want to record and then once you are uh, like let's say we want to record this particular tab you just give the access and here you see that whatever we are doing that is getting recorded as in like video you can pause or stop and you can view this so this is how you can uh, record the screen as well and you can just once you are done like you can download this for your rip documentation or bug filing or to reproduce debug or if you want to share it share it with someone that this is how you can do the testing that is also there then proof of testing so this documentation and bug filing these kind of documentation becomes your proof of testing that yes you have done a lot of testing and everything is documented so that becomes a proof kind of thing and a lot more things are there like let's say uh, your team is writing the automation script and for that they need the xpath and css selector so that also you get it here right in uh, test case studio so you just check this so if you are using let's say you are writing uh, selenium script or cypress script or playwright anything for that you get the xpath and css selector right here you need not to go back and again write the again uh, go back and check in the browser for each and every element what is the xpath and selector so that also you get then there are like many many features are there you can uh, like lots lot more customizations are there that you can do so this is test case studio pro which can help you guys a lot which can help your qa team your testing team to save a lot more time and uh, like they can save a lot of time while uh, and they can avoid like this kind of tedious task of writing and documenting their testing what they are doing and here you also get the logs you can download the last test case you can download the network logs and a lot more things are possible so i will highly recommend everyone to try this particular uh, tool this is very very cheap hardly a meal cost for a company you just go to this uh, selectors of website here under products you will find the uh, test case studio pro and here you can check out the uh, plan like you can check out the plans here and uh, you can compare the free and premium version features what all features are there and it's very very cheap like suppose you want to uh, take a free trial seven days free trial we also have the uh, annual and uh, lifetime plan as well so you can take the free trial if you want seven days or if you don't uh, like the recurring payment and all you have the lifetime plan as well and if you are a company then in that case you can check out the business plan or for enterprise you can always reach out to us directly and you will find our contact us details here so if you are a company and you want to take the enterprise license for a uh, whole team then please reach out to us for the best thing and for the best offer i hope you uh, this video and this tutorial will uh, help you guys to understand the use cases and the best use cases of uh, test case studio and i will look for i'm looking forward to have you guys on board thank you thank you so much